Hey guys, welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. I like to do reviews on tech and occasionally make videos of my motorcycle rides. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Seal Cooling Crossover Sling Backpack. And I just recently bought this, uh, needed a new bag for work. It is a kind of mid-sized backpack and it is something that you'd use for work. Well that's why I've got it. I ride my motorbike to work and I wanted something that I could use to put my laptop in so that when I go and see clients and I have paperwork to do and I need to pull up my laptop I found that this is a really good backpack this is the pack right here um, I've got it loaded up as I would for work um, it is very hot today so I am actually going to have some of that water it's in there and that's what I like about this pack it actually has a really handy little pocket for your water bottle. I drink water every day. So do so, so, so most people, but stay hydrated people. Excellent. So this is designed to uh, accommodate a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So you can put a, a tablet and a, and a small uh, so a 13 inch lap, laptop in here. It's got a spot for your phone, your mobile phone in the shoulder strap. It's water resistant, which is really handy for me. I ride in all weather conditions, unless it's like bucketing down. Uh, so it's quite handy to know that if we do get a bit of a shower while I'm riding to work, then my stuff's going to be protected. There's lots of little pockets for all sorts of different things, which suits me really well. Okay, so here's the bag. And we've got the, the different pouches. So I start through the front. So I've got my Bluetooth headphones. I've got my wallet in there. So that's your kind of quick access. You need to grab your wallet. That's in there. The bag is still relatively new. The zips you'll find when you buy any of these cooling products I've found because this is the third one that I've purchased. When you buy it, so everything's kind of stiff and the zips don't seem to kind of run very smoothly. They get a lot better with time. So if you're trying one out in the shop and you think, oh, these, these zips are kind of sticky and they don't, it feels like they're kind of not working properly. And after a, f after a few weeks, I've found personally, they really start to smooth out. And I think the quality of the zips is really good. So we've got that waterproof seal on there. So in here, this is kind of where you keep all of your, your smaller items. So in here, I've got my backup, my portable hard drive case. So you've got a netted area, like a cargo net area spot in there. So you can kind of see into there. And you've got a small pocket here. That's where I keep my spare phone charger cable, my data cable for my mobile phone. Uh, I've got some cash and some business cards in there. And then I've got my pens nicely loaded in there and then you've got a sort of bigger pocket there you might be able to keep your sunnies in there or um, a torch just a different kind of size access to, to something there so that's the middle section and when I bought the bag I didn't really look at it properly I just knew that I kind of wanted a mid-size backpack and I just I was pleasantly surprised and then the main section you got plenty of room you got another little separating pack um, Again, that would probably accommodate your hard drive case quite nicely or something of a similar size or for example, you might want to put your spare battery pack in there, alright, whatever you want. So there's another little option there to organise your, your stuff. Then I've got a clipboard, uh, that's the pouch for your tablet. I should keep a uh, clipboard and then a about a 13.1 inch laptop. Okay, so that all fits in there really nicely. That's all good. If I had a tablet, that would go in there, but it works really well for my clipboard. It slides in there. So yeah, when I'm doing paperwork, if I'm sitting with a client and I have my bag up on the bench or on the chair next to me because I'm often riding my motorbike when I go and see clients because it makes it easier for parking. I can kind of keep my bag open like this and all the things that I need are ready to go at hand. I need ID or something out of my wallet or if I need to give a client a business card, it's right there, okay. All handy nice and easy to access everything and that slides in there really nice and easily so if you're not using a tablet and you do need to use a clipboard for whatever reason that actually fits in there really easily when you're all finished we can pop everything back in there it's, you don't have to kind of pick the bag up 
and, and load everything in. The water bottle's really easy to get to. The space, a mobile phone fits in here really nicely. No problems there. One little grumble that I do have is that I haven't thought about how this strap here, I've actually put a, a, a cable organizer piece of Velcro on here. If you want to change it, I suppose they've probably thought that you'd be using the bag like this. But the problem with that is, then the phone sits up on your shoulder. It doesn't quite gel, right? So in order for it to be kind of nice and snug, and you want your phone to sit across the flat part of your chest, you need to have it reasonably tight. And then if you're riding a motorbike or you're riding a bicycle or whatever, this strap just flaps loose. So a really easy solution for that, and it works really well, is you just get one of these um, cable tie organizers, you know, one of those ones that you might use for organizing your cables. But I just thought Truly. it might have just provided a better solution or some kind of solution for that. It's not a huge deal, it's just an annoyance. And I've noticed that with my other bags, the same thing, I've had to kind of create solutions myself using little Velcro straps and stick-on Velcro and things like that to tidy up that loose strap. Very easy to resolve. A little bit of one of those cable organizers, you can't see it. It, kind of, it moves up and down really easily and you can just lock that down, put that in place and that's good to go. So the only thing that I don't like about that bag is very easily sorted up but it just would have thought Truly. might have thought of something. So that's how it looks. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. I was a bit dubious at first at being a single over the shoulder kind of sling pack. It's pretty well loaded up now how I would have it for work, laptop, water bottle, all my bits and pieces. And it's got some airflow, it's actually got some holes in here. And I like it when I'm riding the motorbike because my right arm is holding the throttle and that shoulder tends to get a little bit more tense. So it actually balances me out really nicely. While you're out and about and you need to get something and you're not sitting down and you just want to grab something or you want to grab your water, the whole purpose, the whole idea with the sling back, you can sling it around and you can access everything that you want. Okay, so you want your water bottle, that's down there, and that's going to stay in there. It's a pretty good design, I'm really, really impressed with that idea. I'm going to get your wallet, your travel documents out of that pouch, that's easy to get to. You need a pen, or you want to hand out your business card, really easy to get to. And everything kind of stays in, even, even if your zips aren't properly um, closed up. It, things, it doesn't kind of flop open, which is really good. And you need to grab your laptop out quickly, you sit, you've had an idea and you want to sit down and type something up. You're waiting for a train or a bus, or you're at an airport or something. You can really easily, and then it's really easy again. The bus has arrived, your flight departure gets called, and you put everything away quickly. You're good to go phone's ready, you feel it's there, you hear it ringing, you need to get to it, that's easy to get to, nice and close, right I guess if you're listening to music you, there's enough room in there for your um, cable to come out or in my case you've got your Bluetooth. So all in all, really 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 happy with this bag, really impressed, love it. So this little um, catch is really easy to, to adjust. Uh, end bit isn't going to be a problem. I like to have it fairly snug like that and that way you can have your phone here without it's kind of sitting on your shoulder. So again you just got to find what your personal preference is. All in all incredibly good value. Alright so if you like this video please hit that like button. If you are interested in getting more content from my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're interested in more reviews in the future, have a look at some of my videos where I show you how I set my gear up and how I set my cameras up and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.